I'm so curious about this diet. Were you shocked at all the work that you had to do for it? It was um, it was a lot of work, but that's also part of the blessing. So you know, it's one thing to to take medication and give it to your child and hope it works, and when you see it's not working. Um, you know, there's not much you can do and you feel very frustrated right. and, and helpless. helpless. Yeah, that's it's a good word. I was at work most of the day. Joe was at home with the kids. The diet was a way for me to actually try to do something to help out. You know, I, I do most of the cooking at home anyway, so it was natural for me to kind of take that. <laughs> well, it makes my <laughs> life a lot easier because I can just go the, grab the labeled meal, you know, and, and feed her when I need to. So instead of sitting at work, you know, wondering what I could do or how I can help and hoping everything was going right, I knew that I had done something and the fact that it worked mm -hmm. as well you know, it was even better, so I knew that what I was doing was important. So, David, this looks really yummy. Please tell me about the process. What is this? What is this dish you made? Um, this is keto-friendly uh, strawberry yogurt that I made for Nadia. Each one of these is a single serving, and basically it consists of heavy whipping cream that I whipped up with a hand mixer, um, some sour cream with some finely chopped up strawberries, and some no-calorie sweetener. And there's a number of different brands, but it's got to be the liquid version, not the powdered version, oh. not in the little packs. Why is that? Because sometimes they use cornstarch and other things in the packs to, to keep it granulated and to keep it from clumping together and sticking together, and that can add a couple of calories. And what's the scale for it? So, so really I've got to be very scale. careful with the uh, measurements. So I measure everything to the gram. Recipes um, inside of the program that we use, um, we specifically put how many grams of each thing is in there, and it tells us how many calories, how many carbs, and what the ratio is for the ketogenic diet. So if it says 25 grams, put 25 grams exact. Got it. And now, so, how long would something like this last in the refrigerator? We usually don't keep them more than like two days. Two days. Okay. So maybe I'll make it three days in advance. Um, occasionally, some of the meals, some of the like warmer meals, like a chili or spaghetti squash, we'll actually put in the freezer, and we'll keep that for maybe a week or two. So David, is this one of Nadia's favorite foods? Yes, it is. He loves the strawberries. And it definitely looks pretty too. I mean, I think there's something to be said of, of the, the visual as well as the taste. You did a very good job. You can come to my house and cook anytime. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> so is it difficult when you're going on vacation with to bring everything with you? It's a lot of packing. We make sure that we um, bring most of the stuff we need that we think we may not be able to get um, when we get there. I'll bring ice packs. Uh, we make sure, the one thing we make sure when we go on vacation is that whatever room we're staying in has a uh, refrigerator and freezer in it. Mm -hmm. It's good to have a kitchen or kitchenette because if you're able to have that sink and, and that refrigerator and freezer and um, a microwave, you can make those meals. It's not just about getting the right mix of foods. It's also spacing them out correctly during the day. It's being aware of you know, the other things that you're putting on your skin that can affect um, body chemistry and things really? like that. Sunscreen. Soaps and things like Lotion. that. Lotion. So we have a list of approved products that we use for Nadia and I label them and send them to school and make sure that everybody understands.